Well, a little update. Uh, it's been a while since I posted some videos. Sorry about that, but got a little windy day, so you might hear some wind in the background. But anyways, we got this uh, Mustang in for the shop today. Uh, came in for some work on the hydraulic throwout bearing. Uh, someone installed it, installed it too far forward, and it would not disengage. So they brought it here. We dropped the transmission. Found out that uh, whoever installed it kinked the lines. Also, they had it too far forward, like we said, and um, that's the reason why um, we tore it apart, adjusted it correctly, put new lines on it, put it back in, started working fine. But as soon as we disconnected, I'm sorry, released the clutch, all of a sudden it started sound like grinding and crank. Uh, you know, it's just like so. We go and uh, look into the transmission, pull it out, and uh, just letting you guys know, this is a 351 with a supercharger. It's a little small supercharger, it's a little V1, a little too small for this engine, but this engine should produce, you know, close to 500 horsepower, 450, 500, depending on the pulley that it has. Um, but uh, yeah, and plus, uh, some work on the timing. Um, this one's got a mega squirt PNP uh, plug and play too. Uh, I'm doing the tuning on this as well. But uh, yeah, so he's got a T5 transmission underneath this thing. And everybody that knows T5s, yeah, that's a little, little too small. So we take the transmission apart, come over here. Take the transmission apart, take the cover off, take everything off. And I can't see if you can see in here. No, you can't. Uh, let me shine a light in there. Uh, can't really see it, but there's a bunch of teeth in there. It's from third gear. Let's see if I can get it with my finger. Oh, you can kind of see a little shininess right there. Uh, I can touch it with my fingers. There we go. Oops. Come on. There we go. Here's a little... Oh. Here's a couple pieces. There you go. As you can see, that's a little piece of a tooth that... Oops. Let's see if I can get it to focus right. There we go. That's a little piece. Uh, yeah, it's third gear just disintegrated in there. You can see everything else looks fine. But, yeah, in the transmission, third gear split. And usually what happens is the two shafts right in here for uh, the input and the gear selection go to third. Well, third, it's the most uh, flexible and so it flexed open and the teeth mesh that's kind of hard to do with one hand but the teeth mesh um, no I can't do it but anyways the teeth mesh they they're supposed to be meshed together and as time so you get anyways the teeth start to spread open and the gears start to spread apart from each other and then all of a sudden it breaks the teeth so that's what happened with this transmission here um, Third gear just cannot hold the power. Um, I've seen quite a few 302s with, you know, some boosted or super uh, turbochar. I'm sorry, boosted or nitrous setups, and they just they can't hold the power. That's a lot of power. But um, this guy 351 bored out to a 356. Seven or eight? I can't remember what he said he got it up to. I believe it should be seven, but it might be eight what he said. Uh, but anyways, uh, so it's just a little too much power for that T5. Well, we're trying to source another transmission. It looks like we're just going to put another T5 in it for the time being until we can get a better, stronger transmission, at least a T56 or better. But anyways, just a little update at the shop, what's going on. Um, I'll try to get some more videos out for you guys. Uh, you guys have a good day.